<laughs> hello, my little artichoke hearts. I would like to tell you my favorite joke. You'd like to hear? Yeah. Je l'ai monté sur le tatar, le vent sur le chemin de tatar, un petit peu sur le vent. Oh, j'ai reçu du chemin de tatar un knockers. Et j'ai le vent sur le chemin de tatar, c'est des effets de sur le chemin behind the shed. Il dit son mot sur le tatar. Et puis je les ah, il doit être milkman. Oh, you've heard it. Wasn't that a great bit? Do you remember in the last series we did a cliffhanger joke? Oh, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> now I ask you, is that any way to treat a superstar? I feel ashamed of myself. A man like that, he's been around so many years, so enormously popular, everybody loves him. So I'd like to take this opportunity of personally apologizing to him. Cliff, I apologize for that. And I can't wait for you to come back on the show so I can apologize for this. <laughs> With one miraculous bound, he was free! He must be in league with the devil, woman. Get it? <laughs> It's a tin of sardines, isn't it, Trenchmouth? Yeah, but you don't know there are sardines in that tin. Oh, come on, Slaggy. Look, I mean, sardine tins look like that, right? That's a picture of the sardines on the front, and on the back it says sardines. So I thinks to myself, shot in the dark, go out on a limb, this is probably a tin of sardines. <laughs> but you don't know there are sardines in that tin. I mean, there, there could be a, a, a miniature symphony orchestra in that tin. Oh, bloody of that symphony. Look. <laughs> I've got a fiver here that says there are sardines in the tin, right? I've got a fiver that says that you're wrong, garbage mush. Right. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 
how about that? We both lose. <laughs> you know, I've never seen a sardine playing a violin before. Nah. I've seen one playing bagpipes. <laughs> If you like chuckles just like me, tune your set to ITV. We got tons you bet up on the video cassette. my little Welsh royal deaths. Uh, I am not feeling myself tonight. I mean, I'm not feeling myself tonight. You know, I have such a sad story to tell. And you know, this sad story actually happened to me, the wonderful Marcel. Let me set the scene. It was night. It was dark. I was alone. Hard to believe, yet true. I arrived home after a hard day's canoodling. Or as you English say, working late at the office, Nepal. Anywhere, any road up. This is where the story really begins. I decided, surprise, surprise, to go right to the bedroom. I walked in, and what do you think? My wife was in bed with another fellow of the opposite sex. I said to her, listen here, I refuse to play second fiddle to anyone. And she said, with an instrument like yours, you're lucky to be in the band. <laughs> oh, well, some you win, some you lose. <laughs> and now, Lord Thames, in association with himself, presents Mega Star Time. This week, Barry Manilow meets Barbara Streisand. Hello, Barbara. Hi, Barry. Move along, Skits. Come on. Come on. Move along, Skits. <laughs> hello, hello. Why do traffic wardens have a yellow band round their hats? To stop people parking on their heads. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, what a winner. My name is Orson Welles. Horse on Welles. Get it? Oh, my God. This is worse than the other one. This is just sherry on my hat. <laughs> and now it's time to play Star Quiz, television's newest game featuring the country's top stars the way you want to see them. And here's Kenny. Hi, kids, and welcome to Star Quiz. The only show on television that takes the country's top stars and completely humiliates them. Tonight's guest is a man known to millions and loved by millions. A warm, humble, and extremely talented person who tonight is going to get his on Star Quills. And here he is, the one and only Billy Connolly! It's good to have you on the show. It's an honor. Oh, it's an honor for me, Kenny. That's what I meant. Thank you. Now, let me explain the rules of the game. We're going to ask three questions, each worth ten points. And there's a secret word. This week's secret word is ball bearings. Ball bearings. If the questions are not answered correctly, the gunge in the gunge tube is dropped in the contestant. It's as simple as that. Is there anything you don't understand? Yes. Why are you reading my cue card? So off we go! Okay, Billy. You've got 60 seconds to save yourself from the gunge. Starting now. Here comes the question. Who is the odd man out? Harry Lauder, Andy Stewart, Kenneth McKellar. Andy Stewart's a glove puppet. Correct! Here comes the second question. Celtic and Rangers are two Glasgow football clubs. Name them. Rangers and Celtic. Right! So far, so good. But the last question is a toughie. And you haven't got a chance. Plus, you haven't said the secret word. It's all over bar the gunging. And here's your last question. 
What is Lena Martell? Uh, is, is that a brandy? No! <laughs> He's only got 20 points. He didn't even come close to winning. And now he's going to get his. Oh, oh, Kenneth, 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 please, what? please, can I just ask you one question? Yes, but hurry it up. How are you going to get out of here? <laughs> 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 <laughs>